Hi, it's Pim at Moromaker Systems and today we look at cross-section layer design. We continue from our previous video, single row design and curb and drain design. Go to the cross-section view, right click, select edit layers, left carriageway. The first time you activate the layers, you will need to give the layer group a name. Different layer groups exist if the layer thickness, number of layers or layer widths varies between the changes. The layer widths will automatically adjust if the road width change. Enter the change you want to apply the layer to. If you have more than one layer group, add the relevant changes on each group. Enter the description of the layers, the information will be part of the printout results. Use the tab key to tab through the different fields. At the layer dimensions, the default road width at the start of the road will be copied to the field automatically. If you change this value, every time you exit and activate the function again, it will replace the value with the road width at the start change. All you need to do is define the layer group as if you are on change 0, even though the layer group might start at a different change. Use the tab key to go through the different columns. The program auto-completes the first width, enter the thickness, tab again and the thickness repeats on the right. Tab to the next empty layer and enter the next width, as if you are on change 0. Repeat this for all the layers. In the example we use 250mm step on each layer. Notice the base layer between the curbs is the same width as the wear and the step starts from the third layer. To add a second group, group 2, do the following. Select add group and give it a different name. Enter the changes applicable for the new group. The information stays the same as group 1, except below the bottom left layer. For this group, we add an additional layer. Here I only add an extra layer on the left below the existing layers. Go to the widening to view the extra layer of group 2. Let's look at in situ layers. From the bottom, untick the tick boxes up to the layer you want to use as an in situ layer. Select the area button to display how the volume will be calculated based on the cross section area. The layer will be displayed on the cross section but excluded from the volume calculation. The bottom 200mm layer is excluded from the volume. Let's turn the import layers on again and continue. Inner offsets. This option is used to exclude the inner part of selected layers, representing an existing road. I will add an existing inner offset of 2 that will then be added 2 meter left and 2 meter right. Note, if the widths frequently vary between changes, the widths can also be extracted from the string with the offset from services option. Then I apply this from the third layer on and step the inner offset with 250mm. V2 
view the result, making sure you look at the correct group if you use more than one group. Select area and see how only the layer areas displayed form part of the area used for the volume calculation. We use this for rehabilitation of existing road designs. For now I clear the inner offsets. Let's have a look at fix and fix layers. You have the option to either use the fix widths entered or unfix extends the layer to the toe. Notice how the layers extend up to the toe. To display the fixed width line, select plot parameters, turn the fixed line on the graphics on or off. I am going to put the layers back on fixed. To conclude, I do a volume calculation. Go to Calculations Earthworks. Choose from the available options to do the calculation. Based on your selection, you might get additional pop-ups to complete the volume calculation. The volumes for both the fixed, unfixed and with extensions only are options in the volume calculation. View the calculation results. Tabs at the bottom for the different calculations. Save or print the result from the editor. Remember to save the design file again as a .pr3 or a .roll file. Thanks again for watching and if you have any questions let us know. We will see you in the next video.